I bring you both custard. Come, let's enjoy. She said, putting the bag on the table and looked around, but her eyes frowned when she saw Jungkook sitting on the couch, hanging his head low, but you were nowhere to be seen. What's that? Where is Yen Jungkook? She said, looking at Jungkook, but her heart skipped a beat when she saw him crying. Jungkook, what happened? And where is Yen? Yona, she left me again. She is gone. Her heart shrank on Jungkook's word. She walked to him quickly. Yeah, what are you even saying? Where is she gone? She said that she wants to start her new life. And she left abroad. Ab abroad? And you let her go? Are you crazy? Then what should I do? She wants to start her new life. She wants to forget everything. I don't want to be selfish to hold her in pain. You are not selfish but a donkey. Are you crazy? You really think that she will be happy living away from you? Why can't you stop her? But Yona... What? What are you doing here? Just go and stop her. But she takes a promise of not following her. He said innocently making her bite her lower lip. I swear, just because of your these habits, I feel like smacking you. Just go before it's too late. You signed looking at the necklace Junker gifted you. You finally left everything behind. You finally let go of everything. You look down as tears roll to your eyes. You wipe them away and take a deep breath. At the end, you are heartbroken. You fling suddenly by the announcement. Miss Park Wyan, there's an emergency. Please come to the announcement room if you are hearing me. I repeat once again, Miss Park Wyan, please come to the announcement room. Your brows frown when you looked at the time. It's already the time for your flight to take off. What I did now? You walk in the announcement room and looked around to find someone so that you can clear the misunderstanding. You keep your luggage aside and walk to one of the girls there. Excuse me, would you please tell me why you asked me to come here? My flight is about to take off and I have to be quick. The lady first looked confused but suddenly remembered who could you be. Sorry ma'am, but we can't let you take this flight. I am really sorry for this, but try to understand that we can't let other passengers in an uncomfortable situation because of you. She said and was about to walk away, but you stopped her. Uncomfortable situation? Look miss, there might be some misunderstanding. Try to understand, it's so important for me to take this flight. Please do something. You said looking at her with your requesting eyes while she signed. I know it's really so problematic, but I can't do anything in this matter. Your fiancé tell us about the disease you have and I really think you need to take treatment first. Excuse me. She sat and walked away from there leaving you in confusion. Disease? Fiancé? Your confused eyes looked around and scoffed when you saw Jungkook, standing leaning to the counter and waved at you. The smell? You bite your lower lip and walked towards him angrily. You walk to him but before that, his quick steps make his way towards you and he hugged you tightly. Your heart skipped its beat for a second by his sudden touch. His one hand on the back of your head while the other were holding your waist tightly. As if he will lose his grip and you will disappear somewhere. You gulped. Jungkook, why were you leaving? Did I forget to tell you that how much I still love you? Your heart skipped its speed when he said that he still loves you. Tears started to float in your eyes. You don't know how to react and what to say. It just, lots of emotions hit you at once. Jungkook's eyes were filled with raw emotions as he gazed at her. His eyes laid bare before her. I have never stopped loving you. Why and please don't go. Give me a chance to make things right, to show you how much you mean to me. He confessed, his voice trembling in sincerity. 
He broke the hug and looked at you. Your tears already made its way down to your eyes. Jungkook took a deep breath, his hand shaking as he reached out to cup your face. I was a fool, Wyan. I was scared of losing you, so I pushed you away instead of telling you how much you mean to me. But now I realize that losing you is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. Jungkook, your low voice echo in the room but stop when he kissed your forehead. I lost you once and haven't moved on until now. Not anymore. I can't be able to live without you if you leave me this time. Let me be a little selfish this time. Let me hold on to you. When you left first, you just doesn't left with nothing but take a piece of my heart with you. And if you leave me this time too, then I will never be complete again. If you ask me how many times you come in my mind, while well, you were not with me, then once, because you come and never leave. The every corner of my house hold the great memories of yours. The time you spend there, those laugh and tears, everything. I can't move on from you. You scoffed and slapped on his chest. He looked at you confused. What do you even think of yourself, huh? Can't you just say the same thing to me earlier? You even know how sad I was. I thought I thought I lost you once again. Can't you just confess to me the time I was leaving? You really made me suffer this much. I hate you. Yeah, why are you blaming me, huh? If you also love me, then you can confess to me too. He said looking at you while you scoffed and again slapped him. This man always want me to take first move. In everything yeah act like a man not like a coward if I am not strong enough to confess then you should make a move I was so scared you said and hugged him he chuckled and hugged you back almost lifting you up from the ground I love you I really love you and wanted you to be selfish in every decision of yours which is related to me I want you to be the most selfish person in this world when it comes to me you said and tighten your grip around his waist. I love you too. So we are dating again? You said still holding him close to you. He pressed his lips together and shook his head, making you a little confused. You broke the hug and looked at him while he smiled. I don't want to lose you again, so of course I am not dating you again. but. He backed off a little making you confused, but your eyes widen when he goes on his one knee. He takes out a box from his pocket and there you see a beautiful ring. Your eyes shed tears and that smile on your face. Just everything about this time is so special. Will you marry me, Miss Park Wyan? He said extending ring at you while you couldn't believe at this moment. Don't know what to say and what to do, just nod your head and whisper yes. Everyone around you both clapped, being all happy for you. He slid the ring in your finger and getting up he peeked your forehead and hugged you. You thought he will kiss you, but that's something he saves for the wedding day. You both stay there hugging each other for a minute before you broke the hug and looked at him. Your hands are still wrapped around his waist. By the way, the lady over there said that I need treatment and had a disease. That's confusing. What did you say to them to stop me? He bit his lower lip and looked at you while you were looking at him curiously. He smiled awkwardly and scratched the back of his neck. Nothing much, just you had vasorexia. What's that? There's no way they will stop me for such a small illness. Actually, it's a disease where you suddenly get the urge to kiss someone and I told them that you will kiss anybody on your way. Your heart dropped. You looked at him shocked while he again smiled awkwardly and tried to explain himself. Your mouth opened and closed few times but you don't know what to say. Your face turned all red in embarrassment. I'm sorry. Yeah, how dare you? Just because of your these habits, I hate you. You said hurting him with your back while he just laughed.
I hate you. I don't want to marry you. You said, of course not, my dad, and walked out from there. Jungkook laughed and grabbing your luggage, he ran to catch you. Yeah, listen to me. I had no other way and the time was running out. I do all this to stop you. I'm sorry. Don't come behind me. Jungkook lifted his eyes and smiled when he saw the love of his life walking towards him, holding the white flowers in her hands. She doesn't have anyone beside her. Maybe that's why she is looking a little nervous. But still, no one can deny the fact that she is looking the most beautiful woman in the world today. That light makeup and only some small amount of accessories enhancing her natural beauty. and that bright smile on her face that's the most beautiful thing she ever wears someone said it right that the most expensive accessory a woman can wear is her smile that not only make her beautiful but welcome the positive vibes around her too jungkook looked around and sighed how helpless he is right now everyone is staring at his wife and he can't even say no to them With the chuckle he looked at you again. When he couldn't be able to control his excitement inside, he walked to you with his quick steps, making everyone around you both look at him in awe. You chuckle. He walked to you and asked for your hand like a gentleman. Well, his intentions was to hug you, but he controlled himself. You smiled softly and put your hand in his. You are looking so beautiful. Everyone around you is falling in love with you, including me too. Thank you and you are looking so handsome too, just like the prince of my fairy tales. I'm scared. What if some random girl around object our marriage because she fall for your looks? You said and he giggled, helping you with your dress. You walked towards the stage. His parents looked at you both and smiled. Every parent just want their child to be happy in their life. That's the thing which makes them happy and successful in life. The ceremony started and you both started to take your vows. Everything feels so unreal as you couldn't able to digest the load of sudden happiness in your life. You look around and in between the crowd you saw Yona. She smiled at you and you smiled warmly at her. She is the only one because of whom you both are together and you will never able to forget this kind of act no matter how much you try but not to be able to pay back for the help she does for you now i declare you both husband and wife you may kiss your bride now the priest declared you both husband and wife your eyes again shifted on jungkook as he smiled at you you smiled back warmly You can't even imagine how much I waited for this moment. Finally, I'm married to you, and now even if you leave me, I will not leave you. You chuckled. He walked closer and pressed his lips on yours, kissing you softly and with full of love. Everyone around cheer for you both and give blessing for your happy and healthy life. After saying goodbye to everyone you finally come back to your house to start a new life with someone you love cherish forever you glance outside the car door a white smile spread across your face at the sight of the house adorned with twinkling fairy lights and fragrant flowers a warm welcome awaiting you you turn to jungkook your eyes filled with delight it's so beautiful You said looking at him while he smiled and kissed your knuckles. You do all this when Well, not all of it. You know help me, but I want our first entry as a couple in this house special. I wanted to make my first day with you special so that every day will be as good as this one, as special as this day. Jungkook's smile widened as he noticed the adoration and gratitude shining in your eyes. Gently he reached out brushing a stray strand of hair from your face. 
you didn't have to go through all this trouble jungkook but i'm grateful you did it's already special because it's with you and i promise every day with you is a treasure no matter what we do or where we are let's go you said and opened the gate of the car but he stopped you hey slow down a bit he said noticing your puzzled expression as he dashed out of the car and hurriedly to your side opening the gate for you you couldn't help but chuckle at his eagerness but before you could react further he scooped you in his arms causing you to gasp in surprise you wrap your arm instantly around his neck laughter bubbling up at his unexpected gesture jungkook what are you doing you said a mix of amusement and a delight in your voice with a mischievous sign jungkook glanced at you his eyes sparkling with excitement carrying my princess over to the threshold of course this bride deserves a special entry yeah of course but why to carry you already made it so special Come on, it's going to be normal now. Just make it a habit of yours because from now you have to live half of your life in my arms. Of course, and who knows how many times I'm going to fall from this baby's hand. You said and giggled, already hurting his manly side. He looked at you with a pout. Nothing, just like this you are creating problems for yourself for tonight. He said warning you and you get it what he meant by tonight. Okay, sorry. I won't call you baby boy ever again. Promise. I know you are so strong that you will even carry me all my life. You said and both of you laughed. You know, I was not expecting mom and dad to accept you so easily. Your beauty waits on them. Don't you think so? What? You want them to hate me? Of course not. I had enough of fighting for our love now i just wanted to be with you just with you and forever he said and softly kissed your forehead you smiled i promise to give you every happiness i will work harder now and will shift to a luxurious and comfortable house this one is quite old i dare you to call this house old babu i was planning to go old with you here in this house You even know it's not just any random house but the treasure of our memories. Our tears, smile, laughter. This place is like a video player holding on to those beautiful memories safe. I will not leave this house not in any condition. You said looking at him while he just smiled. Now why are we even standing outside? Are not you taking me in? Wow, someone is being impatient, huh? He said teasing you while your face turned all red. You smiled shyly and slapped on his chest. But what? After changing your clothes, you went back to your room. Just to tease Jungkook. His eyes frown seeing you walking in your room, but you both already decided to sleep in his room. Where are you going? And before he could say anything, he walked inside, making him scoff as if he don't know that you were teasing him. You lay down on the bed and pulled the blanket above you, laughing silently. He scoffed and getting on the bed, he made space for himself beside you. You gasped. What are you doing? It's a single bed, and I'm going to fall. Then I will save you, but not let you tease me on our first night. It's my work to tease you tonight, not yours, and you can't snatch this right from me. He said and hugged you, pulling you closer to him. You laughed and ruffled his hair. We can't sleep together. This is a single bed, and one of us might fall while sleeping. Really? That's why I was saying, let's go and sleep in my room. Why you even come here? You forgot that there's a single bed in your room too. Then we can sleep there together," he said, pointing towards the floor. "This man is really crazy. 
How about you protect me so that I won't fall? You said and turning to him you hugged him tightly. He chuckled and kissed your forehead. Don't worry, I will always protect you like this. And you both stay there hugging each other for a while. Your face bury in his chest while he rests his chin on your head, kissing your back softly. Suddenly you remember something. You look up at him, his eyes lower at you. I heard that you threatened Sam to not meet me again after today. He bit his lower lip and looked at you smiling awkwardly. Actually that, uh, now you are my wife and of course you will feel jealous if I meet any other girl out. Just think the same from my side too. I won't like it if you meet him and he will stay close to you. I mean, I will say to him that you were joking, understand? Okay, I will meet him again after that and clear him that I never changed my mind. He said making an innocent face. He scoffed and slapped his chest. Are you crazy? We are just good friends and if I meet him doesn't mean that I will leave you. We are grown up adults now. Stop behaving like a child. You know that he is your friend and I know this but my poor heart is not ready to accept this. It serves a you jealous. You are going and apologize to him. Understand and also behave like an adult. You said and pinched his nose softly. He think for a while and nodded with a shrimmick. And just then you get to know that there's something that might be cooking in his devil's sheer mind. He looked at you. Okay, I will apologize to him if you say, but only on one condition. He said as that stomach never left his face. You frown your brows and looked at him. You are bringing up the game we used to play when we were dating, are you? Okay then, it's not even that hard. I will kiss you in return. You lean to kiss him but he shook his head and make your brows frown. Not the kiss. As you said that we are already grown up kids. So, my condition is that you won't stop me when I will show you my other side tonight. He said in his deep voice, your heart skip a beat. Uncertainty clouding your expression as you search Jungkook's eyes for reassurance. His hand extended to the table and he turned off the lights making the heat rays in the room. You couldn't see anything in the darkness but flinched slightly when you feel his lips on your neck. He kissed you softly but before he could do anything further you stopped him. He looked at you confused while you bite your lower lip. But you said that we will take things slowly. He scrunched his nose. When he promised you the stupid thing, he looked at you. Do I ever promise you such a stupid thing? You giggled while the irritation in his voice and nodded slowly. Well, I don't remember it anyways, and it doesn't even matter now. We will. Take things slowly after this. Please fly in. Is this request make you laugh a little? Mr. John Zangook, what do you even want to take slowly after this, huh? Well, I don't know. Let's find out later. But of course, I don't want to stop now. He whispered and hugged you while you hugged him back. I love you, Vyan. I love you more my love. 